it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing the what's in my everyday makeup tag. I was tagged by the lovely Makeup Progression 91. Her name is Laura and she does amazing videos. Um, she does hauls and reviews and she has this long beautiful black hair and she is amazing and I enjoy watching her videos very much and you should definitely go check out her channel. I'll link her information in the description um, box below. So remember to check that out. Okay, so let's get started. What's in my makeup bag? Here is my makeup bag. I got this at Sephora um, and these are still in stores if you are interested. They have bigger ones as well, but I think this was the smallest makeup bag that they had. And um, this was $14 and I really like it because it's really, it's eye-catching and it's holographic and it's see-through as well. And I really like it. So let's see what I got in here. I have some uh, blotting papers because my face does uh, get oily sometimes and this is by uh, Boschia. I think that's how you pronounce it, Boschia. Uh, green tea blotting linens look like that and I really I really do like these these are kind of expensive but um, they work really well I have my NARS blush in deep throat this is a great everyday pinky peach color I had pan on this already and I'm determined to finish this um, I don't know hopefully really soon so that way I'll have an excuse to buy uh, another blush and I have my Hoola bronzer by Benefit. This is my favorite bronzer. And I've had this for such a long time. I mean, there's just so much product in this. It's really great. I also have my Studio MAC Fix um, powder foundation, which I really love. Uh, this is in the, I guess, shade C4. And I'm really, really enjoying this product very much. I I bought it like, what, a month or almost two months ago, I think. And I really enjoy this product very much. Um, I've tried other powder foundations, like from Lancome and um, like drugstore brands, but I really don't like them as much as I like this one. This is probably the best one I've tried so far also have another benefit product this is the ooh la la lift and I like this product very much um, I like to put this um, under no over my concealer just to have that extra lightening and brightening effect this uh, does a good job for that for mascara I have Maybelline's mega plush volume express which at first I was not loving this product but now I mean I've been using this for like three weeks I guess like almost three weeks and I really do love this it does a great job separating my eyelashes and volumizing of course and it's really great with two or three coats amazing I also have a Sephora eyelash curler which is an okay eyelash curler, I guess. It does its job, but I think I need another one of those, um, what do you call these? The, these padding things. And I have e.l.f.'s liquid eyeliner, which is great, and I love to use this because it's only a dollar at the drugstore, and it's a pretty good liquid eyeliner. I can't complain about this. I also have Tarte's Smooth Operator Concealer, which is like my favorite all-time concealer out there. And for my eyebrows, I use the NYX Eyebrow um, Shaper Pencil. If I don't use this, my eyebrows will be all over the place. And I prefer to use this instead of like the, the clear mascaras that you can groom your eyebrows with. I don't like that very much because the mascara, the clear mascara would turn like a brown color. It doesn't look too nice. So I like using this instead. Another benefit product. This is the Lemonade. I use this to prime my eyes. And also um, sometimes I'll use this underneath my eye area for uh, 
brightening and to conceal any kind of imperfections. For a lipstick, I have MAC um, Hot Altitude, which I featured this in my January favorites. And it's still my favorite. And it's a nice pink, a nice everyday pink lip color. Um, I have it on my lips right now, if you can tell. On top of the MAC lipstick, I am using um, the Love and Beauty lip gloss from Forever 21. And I wasn't really planning on picking this up, but I had like a dollar credit from Forever 21. And I was like, well, what am I going to buy for a dollar? And this was like a dollar eighty. I think and I really like this lip gloss it's not sticky it's a nice like pink color peachy pink color and you know this is like the lip gloss version of deep throat I believe <laughs> which is very pretty and I have it I have it on top of my Mac hot altitude last thing in my makeup bag is the Laura Mercier um, eyeshadow palette and looks like this. Um, lately, I've just been using the matte shadows in the bottom row here. And I really like this because I also use this um, deep brown color to fill in my eyebrows. And I also, I love to use this um, matte black eyeshadow to line my eyes. And it's just a great palette to have. Um, <clears throat> Since I retired the Naked palette, this has been my go-to palette as of lately, so. Okay guys, that's everything in my makeup bag. Um, I do appreciate you watching this video. If you haven't done this tag, I think you should do it and um, leave it as a video response below. And if you have any questions on any of the makeup products I mentioned today, please ask me in the comments below. And, um, oh, make sure to check out Makeup Progression 91, check out her channel, and subscribe to her because she's great. And, uh, once again, thank you for watching. You don't have to watch me, but you do, and I appreciate that. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. This blush, it's an everyday pinky pit. Pink. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's just, it really does a great, it's really I, oh, <laughs> not bad. It reminds me, um, I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> we tried, and that's a big thing. <laughs> but, um, oh, man.